everyone today i am testing out this new floodlight security camera and one reason i absolutely love it is because it comes with this solar panel so you never have to worry about plugging it in charging it it's going to just charge because of that panel it's so amazing it's also completely wireless as long as you use this panel no need to wire no need to install so let's check it out so this is a 2K um, solar security camera, and it has a lot of different features. There is just this user manual if you wanted to check that out. But again, here are what I was just talking about, my favorite feature, the solar panel. So all you have to do if you wanted to install the solar panel is you put it somewhere directly in the sun. You want it to get as most sun as possible because that is going to help the camera stay charged as long as you can. And it has a little mount right there that actually comes with mounting hardware in here. There's mounting hardware for both the camera and for the solar panel so you can use either um, and just mount it right to your house to your shed to the wall wherever you want to mount it and just make sure it's getting as much sun as possible then you're just gonna plug this end into the solar camera and it's ready to go power is ready power is working <laughs> it's awesome and it has this really nice long cord so you can get this panel into as much sun as possible you could put it around the corner from where you want the camera for example and that uh, cord is going to reach it also does have just a usb so if you did want to just plug in the camera you can you have that option you would just need a simple block plug this in and then it would be ready to go so this camera also has two-way talk which is great and it has ai detection so that means if there's a person walking across uh, your yard or your patio or anywhere, it's going to alert you through the app. And that's right, it also comes with an app. So you can actually see everything in live view, live time, and it's gonna work just amazing. So here is the camera itself. It does come with this protective film. We'll just peel that right off. And now you can see it has also, this around the side is actually an 800 lumen light. So it works as a spotlight as well as a camera, so cool and you can actually even adjust this light if you want to so you don't even have to have the light on full blast you can change the settings to make it as bright as you'd like and also it can be censored so you can have the light go on when people walk by or it can just go off or it can automatically go on again you can control everything through the app which i'm going to show you as well so here are the antennas which you do want to have um kind of adjust them so that they get the most um like frequency as possible they are bluetooth so it's going to connect right to that app through Bluetooth, wireless, again, here is a, one of the mounting hardwares. You can screw that on if you'd like there. And on the bottom here is just the power source. So this is where you're going to plug in that solar panel or plug in that outlet right there. There is a space as well for a mini SD card if you wanted to use that as storage or you can use the cloud storage on the app. And there is the power and the reset button. So when you turn on the camera for the first time, you're gonna do that one. And that is what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the app and uh, test it out. So once you have the app downloaded, you're going to choose battery camera, and that is the choice you're going to use. You're going to choose that even if you plan on plugging into the uh, solar panel. Please power on the device. So the one you want to choose, and then you just hit um, add camera, Please and you wait until the, the red light blinks on the, the camera, which it does pretty much instantly, and then you just want to connect to your Wi-Fi. Your so you password. do want to make sure you're on a 2.4 gigabyte um, Wi-Fi and not a 5G because it won't connect. Connecting. So that could be a problem Please if you're having a trouble moment. connecting. But other than that, you just scan the QR code and then it should connect to the network right away. Again, just make sure you're not on the 5G when you're connecting. Um, it'll just make the connection a lot easier and a lot better. And you can see up at the top, it already is alerting me that um, my camera is working and there's motion, I'm already getting those alerts. So once it's connected, you can see right here that it has the strong signal. You want to get it as strong as possible. So I would recommend putting the camera while you're setting up where you're going to have it um, installed. So I had it at the front door because that is where I'm going to install it. And it just makes the Wi-Fi signal, um, you can really check it and kind of adjust those antennas to be exactly right. So then you can name your camera and you can see here, I actually have another device on this same app. So you can manage more than one device through this app. So you can get two of these solar cameras, you could get three, and you can use them all on the same app and uh, make it really easy for you to see exactly what's going on around your house. So here it just kind of walks you through how to use the app. You can see the setup, you can um, just kind of do all the experiences if you want, but I'm just gonna kind of skip through those and get right to the camera so you can see exactly how it looks. So you kind of already saw before, here is the front view. I was just kind of holding the camera before I installed it, um, kind of looking around, getting it in place. And uh, you can see there's all the cars in the driveway 
and you can see all the different things that you can do on this app. So you do want to have access to your photos so you can take those screenshots, you can take live video and record on camera. Um, you can do everything with the push of a button through the app. So I'm just kind of scrolling back and forth. You can see the full view, full screen view right here. And it does show the date and the timestamp up in the corner there, which I love because you know exactly when stuff is happening. You can see at the bottom you have the siren button. You can turn on an automatic siren. You can adjust the motion detection settings and you can also play around with the lights. So here's the motion detection. You can make it um, more or less sensitive, whatever you want. So here is a recording. You can see there's a truck going by, a car going by. Um, very clear picture. I had set it to the HD setting um, and you can see crystal clear. You can see absolutely everything in real time. And then here is just, I wanted to show you how the night vision works. So this is actually completely at night, but that camera with the light, the light automatically goes on when somebody walks by. So it's total floodlight. It completely lit up my backyard. And uh, if you just wait a second, you'll see the light goes off. So it looks almost like it's day, but this is actually night. It's just such a bright light, which I absolutely love because you're going to be able to see everything in your front yard, in your backyard at night. So here is what happens when it goes off. Black and white. So cool.